Well, this morning um, I've been taking a look at this BSA A10, um, which I've worked on a few of them in the past, but never had to do much more than a top end rebuild on one of them, to be honest. Um, it's mainly been minor servicing and uh, light recommissioning work on these, compared with quite a number of BSA A65s that I've worked on here, uh, probably numbering over a dozen, many of which have ended up needing full engine rebuilds, if that tells anyone anything, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, basically, to a degree, there's a lot of similarities between these and the A65s in their sort of layout and uh, internal design. Um, this one came here because this compartment had been filling up with oil when the engine's running and then there was a leak coming from uh, where the dynamo joins the back of the case running down the engine. You can see the owner's put a rag there to uh, contain, help contain any oil as he's ridden it here because it's a fairly local machine this one. But I've been uh, having a look in here, I've taken the timing cover off I just checked and there's uh, what I would call considerable end float on the crankshaft which I know in the world of A65s is not good but what we got here you see on the gauge there one revolution of that clock face is a millimeter and we have got 0.4 of a millimetre end float there. Well, 0.1 is about four thousandths of an inch. So we're looking at about 16 thousandths of an inch end float there. You can actually hear the crank clonking backwards and forwards from side to side. You even see the oil pump gear rotating partially back and forth, it's moving that much. So whether that's got some connection to the oil build up in here or not doesn't really matter at this stage. Um, but I know that if this has got to be dealt with, and I've got a hunch that it has, that it's probably going to be a full engine strip and rebuild to deal with that. So. I've already given the owner of a Royal Enfield Bullet some bad news today. I've not got that on video, but we've got a big end knock on a bullet. Uh, and now we've got this. So um, seems to be a day for contacting owners and passing on bad news, unfortunately. Hey-ho.